Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Brady now on first down. Wide open, Julian Edelman. And he is level. Knocked down hard. 18 big yards on that one. And a New England first down. But no matter your experience level as a quarterback, you throw an interception on that first drive, maybe a little shaken up. Nice response there to get their first first down. I think you make an excellent point. I don't care who you are. You throw an interception, it's going to get to you a little bit. But the ones that we've seen that are the best, you never notice it. They don't come to the bench, throw their helmets, they don't do any of that. They just go back out the next drive and act like it never happened. And that's what we're seeing here. Brady to throw on second down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This defense is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short. They elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback and not... And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cameron Wake in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. And he's going to be swallowed. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. William Hayes. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's the second time they've gotten to Brady, and you've got to do it a variety of ways. You want your regular pressure. Sometimes you have to bring extra. But in this case, they got... It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. A big play there for the Patriots. 33 yards. And they pick up the first down on a fourth down play. I don't know if the defense relaxed because they thought maybe they'd stopped them on third down or if they just didn't protect the sticks very well. But boy, that's a big time pickup right there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. When I see Cameron Wake make plays like that, I can't help but shake my head sometimes. He had to go to Canada first before he came back to the NFL, where he's now an all-pro. Yeah, undrafted out of Penn State, but look at him. The moves he has, his ability to play against the combo outside linebacker, defensive end. Now he's just simply one of the best in the NFL. They'll fake the give to Gillisley, and now Brady. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. They'll try and pick it up with Lewis. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. So they've converted their first two fourth down attempts. Not there. Now they're two for three. You think maybe the offense coordinator expended a little capital on that one? You know, when you're two for yeah. two, you can lock up that third one, right? Didn't get it there. Maybe now the head coach.
Savage might not be so eager to go for it as we go forward. A big play that time for the Dolphins. 48 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He lost two there, and it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. You know me pretty well on second down and short. What I'd like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's Scoop weaving through traffic, and now he's free. The 40, 20, 10, 5. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And he gets it to make it 7-0, Patriots. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. Jakeem Grant now to return. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now working their way back onto the field. They'll start out on the ground with a giant. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stop at the gain on the play. It'll be second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, some point you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Tannehill now to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jay Ajayi there out of the backfield. And it'll bring up third down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And he finds Julius Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And a big third down conversion with a gain of 28. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up the first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment. But here, he's one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, unable to hold on to the football. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. And I don't think Edelman will be able to get to this one. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. 
Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just hopped and knocked the it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Well, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play. But it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target. Guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Brady. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And now running right through it. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 30. 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Mike Gillisley. Seven yards, and the Patriots add on to their lead. It was third and medium. They popped the short pass, looking to pick up the first, accomplish that mission, and then they accomplished a lot more on that mission all the way for the score. Let me focus in on one word you used, pop, right? They popped the short pass, and then what happened after that? They popped the big run, because now, once he caught it, didn't have anyone else in the vicinity to bring him down, and he takes off, and he kept going. Nice gutsy call, even better execution. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And out come the Dolphins now. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Jarvis Landry, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Jarvis Landry, 76 yards, and the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Brady gives this one to Lewis. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 more yards there and another first down. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Now they'll run with 
Lewis. Gets past one man. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. He's had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now a carry for White. And some space here. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 14 yards is the pickup there in the New England first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they move the ball with relative ease. They keep it on the ground, White again. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And now running right through it. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. They run. This is Lewis. <laughs> and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That good for 19 at a first down. I'd have to say that's a pretty darn good run right there. They had seven, what, eight in the box, still able to burn them. They've got to consider themselves lucky they only give up a first down and not a touchdown. Coming up at halftime, remember, we'll get you out to Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis of this first half. That is, of course, that he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Deion Lewis punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is taken at the three. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They come after them, they sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Now it's Tannehill. Drops it off to Ajayi. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that's going to lead to a third down. Tannehill throwing again. Completes it to Ajayi. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. And he checks this one down to Williams. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And here comes play number six on this drive. Again, Tannehill. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third and long, it's Tannehill. 
Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette State. Sorry, Larry, your hard work appreciated by so many men and women, but not today as we get back to the action in the second half. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And the Dolphins are going to recover. A gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. They go play action here on first down. Going and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenny Stills, 37 yards. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. And that time, he came out of the slot for that big play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot. Know that he has tremendous speed. What you're doing with your other receivers is likely running shorter routes to draw the attention closer to the line of scrimmage to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety. You like your odds when he's running against the safety. His speed usually wins, and it did on that play. Pretty move. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. This is Lewis. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now Lewis. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop it. Got some real estate inside the 30. The 20. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right up. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Deion Lewis, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Lewis will get the handoff. Runs through the contact. But he breaks through another tackle. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And so they run it in on the two-point try. You know, so often, Charles, we talk about, from the offense's perspective, what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make a quick decision and make it right now. There, the offense wins the battle for two. They'll begin the drive with a J. And not going to be able to push 
push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You can't go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Edelman set to return. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Patriots take over. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you might just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. That burst good for 20 and a first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Oh, he's got a little daylight. <laughs> Nice move, but Deion Lewis. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Deion Lewis, 52 yards. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. And the Dolphins are going to recover. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything because you're right. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Dante Hightower. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink it. That happened fast and a big sack. Now Tannehill, and this is going to be incomplete. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Here's Matt Dar now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Oh. 
He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. He's been a good game manager. They're winning here in the third quarter, but really the ground game is where it's been at for them, hasn't it? So whatever the game plan was, you just got to focus on continuing to run the football. And really, that takes the pressure off of the guy throwing it around. Doesn't have to be the focal point. Hand it off. Let him chew up the yardage in big plays. And your team's winning. The only people upset, the fantasy guys who may have started him at quarterback <laughs> in their leagues. And we'll see if they continue with a recipe of the ground game. Again, it's Lewis. And he's got some space here. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive Wait, line coach able. because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. And they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. And he gets it down to the 32. That'll be a gain of 16. And that'll bring up fourth down. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. Well, first I thought that might have been a bobbled snap, but as it developed, it wasn't. They designed that fake, probably wishing they would have kicked it. Certainly that was not a bobble because we've seen that before, haven't we? You know, and they, they have a, a code word, right? Usually a fire. And oftentimes that means move outside, right? They try and find open space and the holder rolls out. He tried to go up the middle. That was designed with blocking, and they had no place to go. Back now in Foxborough. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. On second down, here's Tannehill. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time it's third and three. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. To throw is Tannehill. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. Now a handoff here to his running back. And some room to maneuver. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Deion Lewis, 37 yards. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And that rushing touchdown is fourth. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Oh, this is a touch cruel here. They've got the big lead. Now they're going for the jugular with the onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. 
Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Tannehill now to give to Ajayi. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. We just saw another tip of how the defense is winning this game, really at the point of attack. The offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And they hit him as he throws. As this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on down. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Brandon's all about pace and tempo now for them. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is moderato. Uh, nice and even, uh, nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken parm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> now Gillisley. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Mike Gillisley with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots are pouring it on. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know they're playing people thinking, how can I get some more scores for my fantasy, for other things? They're trying to figure that part out now. By the way, last weekend we went sushi because that's what you wanted. We're going steak tonight. I'm in. All right. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And this all turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Here's Tannehill now on second down. Over the middle, it's Thomas. So the offense has it first and 10. Watch 89. Watch 89. Here we go, here we go. 28. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. I don't think that was a blitz, was it? No, not at all. I mean, there was no blitz called on the play. Had other responsibilities, but he saw an opportunity, saw a path, and he took it. To throw on second down is Tannehill. 
Under pressure again, and down he goes again. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So after the sack of Tannehill, the Dolphins come up here on a third and long. Back to throw, Tannehill. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. There's Matt Dar now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And now Edelman. The shifty Edelman with a good move. 12 yards on the return that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. You know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? And he's in! Touchdown, Patriots! James White, a 16-yard touchdown run! And the Patriots continue to roll. And now he's at that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, He's to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one she's of singing too. Oh, she's singing. She, yeah, she's at she's least, on like the fifth tune. At yeah, she, she left scales way behind. But he's to sing something about turning out the lights. The party was over. And the Dolphins are going to recover. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. You're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. 
So the Patriots coming out now. They had the double-digit lead at halftime, and they have continued to roll. They're hard to stop right now. I think what we're seeing is an example of a team that has it figured out in this ball game. And whatever the adjustments are the defense has made, <laughs> has now, Deion Lewis, 30, past the 20. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. They're going to try and run. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, I mean, you, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No, no, okay. comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this?